Hi everyone, happy Thursday. Today's topic, we're gonna to be talking about the top concerns parents have for their children. But first, if you are in need of any assistance, please contact OCO's Crisis Hotline at 1-877-342-7618, Monday through Friday, nine to five. If you cannot call the hotline, please utilize the chat box that I will link up above. Jumping right into today's topic. So I don't know if you've ever heard the saying, your children don't come with instruction manuals. Parents spend a lot of time worrying and being concerned about certain aspects of the child's life. So we're gonna be talking about some of the top concerns parents have for their children. Each year, the University of Michigan conducts and publishes the results of the national poll on children's health. And this is also known as the NPCH. And the NPCH is actually based on adult perceptions on various issues facing children and teens in the United States. 2017, the poll surveyed a diverse national group of both childless adults and parents to identify those issues. And now to jump into the Mott Poll Report and what the top 10 concerns were in 2017. Number 10 is stress. Number nine is teen pregnancy. Number eight is depression. Seven is suicide. Six is child abuse and neglect. Five is internet safety. Four is drug abuse. Three is unhealthy eating. Two is not enough exercise. And number one is bullying or cyberbullying. Why is this information important? Why am I talking to you about a report and a poll that happened in 2017? Well, this is because although many of these issues and concerns are not in the direct control of the parent, this data can serve as a platform to start a dialogue with children. You know, sometimes conversations don't come that easily, especially with hard hitting topics like suicide, cyberbullying, teen pregnancy. Now, sometimes parents wanna have those conversations, but they just don't know how to start them. Now, I'm gonna provide some resources that can help with this. First resource I'm gonna talk about, I've already mentioned in one video, it is amaze.org. And this site has content for all ages. It even has a tab for caregivers, so all information that caregivers might want to know. Click on that parent tab at the top. If you scroll down a little bit, it breaks it down into topics, and these topics include puberty, sexual orientation, gender identity, um, having the talks, personal safety, healthy relationships, pregnancy, STDs, HIV. This allows you to find any information you're looking for quickly in order to understand the topic a little better and also be able to have a conversation with your child that is going to hopefully help be more efficient and effective. There is also a site called commonsensemedia.org. If you pan over the parents need to know tab, it breaks it down into by age, by topic, parents ultimate guide to, and then anything new. So if you have a concern about internet safety, you can go to the by topic and scroll down to privacy and online safety and it breaks it down into questions and these questions are typically frequent concerns among parents and then if you scroll down on that same thing it provides privacy and internet safety articles and privacy and internet safety videos both of these sites are a great resource for any concerns you might have as a parent or a caregiver. And I will link the resources up above so you may explore them whenever you have time. And as always, if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to me. I will respond as soon as possible. And I hope everybody has a fantastic rest of their week and a fantastic weekend. And I will see you again on Monday. Bye.